Mm, that's struck. All right. So it's been a while since I've done a just a Let's Play video just for fun. Um, I know a lot of you guys probably don't care about this and are in the process of clicking the X in the top or right, upper right hand corner, but I'm pretty wasted and I have a schedule that I keep like a spreadsheet for what I want to, uh, what videos I want to write about, what games I want to play. And uh, <clears throat> I, in this space for this day is labeled fuck off. So I'm fucking off and I'm pretty wasted and I'm going to play one of the hardest games on the Super Nintendo Super Ghouls and Ghosts. And uh, I used to hate this game. If you've seen my video for this, which I made, it was one of the first videos I made. It was one of the reasons I started this channel. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to crank this up to nine guys because, uh, yeah, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play until I get a game over. I'm pretty good at this game, but I'm kind of drunk. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. I should get at least 20 minutes out of this, I hope. And maybe it'll be entertaining. I still get reviews and messages and stuff like that. Like, why don't you play games drunk? Ooh, you just sound drunk. It's like, well, it's just a name, but it's become kind of its own thing at this point. So I might as well live up to the name, you know, once a year or so. <laughs> I don't think I've played a drunk, uh, I've done a drunk playthrough since the Contra review. If I have, I don't remember. Anyway, there's our path. We're going to beat the game <laughs> on no game overs. That does not seem likely. All right, first things first, let's get this hidden chest here. And that is the key of the game that a lot of people don't get about Super Ghouls and Ghosts. They don't realize there are those hidden chests. Um, I don't remember if it's Nintendo Power. Where's this? Oh, this one just shows up when you walk past it. I think it's Nintendo Power, Game Informer, or one of those uh, magazines that tells you, it, it like lays out maps and tells you like where you, the... Uh, hidden treasures show up and when you double jump in a certain spot the hidden treasure shows up and that's how you get power-ups that's how you get different weapons that's how you get through the game is a uh, wow i got lucky there that's how you get through this game is with the, the what i call the frog suit here it's a green suit and then there's another one there's another power-up right here where it is a gold suit double jump right here and there's another one I've played this first level 80 gazillion times, give or take a gazillion, and uh, I know uh, where every uh, where everything is. All right, let's see. I forget what the superpower. Uh, great. Okay, got lucky there. Forget what the superpower up is for this one. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Uh, this isn't my normal weapon. I like to use the. Uh, the bow and arrow is my go-to weapon for this game. A lot of people laugh at that. It's not very strong, but it's a homing weapon. So it gets a lot of uh, perf peripheral enemies out of the way. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the reason I used to hate this game, and a reason a lot of people still hate this game... What's in here? Oh, yeah, the shield. Um, a lot of... A lot of... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Sorry. <laughs> A big reason people hate this game is because it's too hard and people think it's broken because it's very rigid. But it's this is one of those games where you, like I've said it a million times, you have to play by its rules. You have to... Oh, that was just reckless. Boy, it's hard to fucking talk and play this. Um, you really do have to play by its rules. Like, you can't go, like, Mario on it. Like, you can't approach this game like Mario. You can't... Uh, just sit here and kill this thing. Okay, so you can't play it like Mario. You can't play it like a normal platformer. You have to play it like Super Ghouls and Ghosts. This is not a normal platformer. You die a lot. So, you know, you're, it, the, you're the first time you're playing this, you're going to die like five times in two minutes. But you have to learn the patterns. You have to know where the enemies are. You have to understand what the enemies are going to do. You have to understand like how to jump, where to jump, like right there. And there, those are two jumps that are like uh, quick jumps, I call them. It's where you press the button reasonably quick. There should be another hidden treasure around here somewhere. There it is. Um, when you quick jump, it's like a click, click. But when you double jump, it's more of a click, click. There's like more of a pause. But the quick jumps are required in this game. And that's not like, that takes like just trial and error. 
And once you get the trial and error down for like the first level and then the second level, like it's kind of addicting. Like it's addictive. I've been told addicting is not a word many times. I'm trying to learn. What is in this over here? Hopefully it's not a shit ass weapon. It's not anything. It's a fucking bear trap. <clears throat> but yeah, that's um look out. See, that's one of the things like you got to learn how to jump. Oh shit. Yeah, just barely got by there. There's a double jump. Uh, that's another tricky jump. This part's really tricky right here. Made it. Yep. What is that? That is nothing, and it's gonna turn me into a seal. Lovely. I am stuck here until I fight the boss. All right, so first level did not die. I got hit, but I did not die. I got hit by my own fucking drunken sloppiness. But uh, yeah, the bosses in this game, not that hard. In fact, I'd argue that the second level boss is probably the hardest in this game. Watch me die. Oh, I wish I had the bow and arrow. Bow and arrow uh, shoots at an angle. It, it shoots two projectiles. Ah, shit. It shoots two projectiles at an angle. Alrighty, there we go. And I managed to catch the key. I rarely do that. All right, let's pause for a drink here. Okay, drinking Telemore Dew tonight. Oh boy, all right, is the hidden treasure over here? I don't know. There it is, okay. Anyway, yeah, play in the uh, do not want the ax. The ax is awful. Boy, it's weird. I've gone through like three weapons now, and I have not found the bow and arrow yet. This will be the frog suit, hopefully. Yes, it will. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. I forgot, forgot what I was rambling about. Yeah, this is kind of a tough segment here, but it's not very long, thankfully. Uh, jump. There we go. There we go. Oh, I'm playing this on the Retron 5, and I... I turned off those infernal filters that everybody hates. Normally, I don't really care, but people seem to care, so whatever, that's fine. Or I, I was gonna say, I, I I didn't think people would care. I thought it looked. Pr I know I'm in the minority, but I think it looks kind of neat. Like get over these fucking things, get over this one. Yes. Ah shit! I should have just kept going. Anyway, yeah, I get some, not complaints, but just people are like, why do you have those filters on? I was like, I don't know, I actually kind of like them. But I like this too. I like all of it. It's super ghouls and ghosts. I don't know. Visuals to me are, aren't are always... I, I'd rather just play, especially if I've played a game a hundred thousand times. Like, just whatever. It's kind of fun to experience it in a different light, in a different context every once in a while. So, that's all. Alright, this part is kind of hard, especially <laughs> in your underwear with just the lance. It's going to be pretty tough. Ooh, just barely avoided that. Okay, so I got to move up close enough so I can get my armor back. And I got it, but it's going to be very tough to get through this with this weapon. Uh, the knife might give me a better chance. Let's use that. And I died. Okay. <sighs> that didn't work. Uh, it's tough dying on this level because you all you start all the way back at the beginning, and I'm gonna take a drink. Okay. There we go. All right. What do you think Ken Griffey Jr. is doing right now? No, I'm just kidding. Longtime viewers know my affinity for Ken Griffey Jr. The thing is, though, is that I didn't even like Ken Griffey Jr. that much as a kid. I just liked his game. It was I was kind of a I was a big baseball card collector as a kid. Um, loved baseball cards. I got all the Beckett Price guides. This is fun. I'm not gonna be able to get the frogs. Motherfucker, that was my fault. Um, 
But here's the thing, is when you're, you know, I'm a, I'm a Minnesota Twins fan, but when you collect baseball cards, it's like, well, ah, that was stupid. When you collect baseball cards, it's, it's like, ooh, that was too close, and that was too close as well. When you collect baseball cards, it's boring to collect your favorite team, especially since there were no, like, up-and-coming guys that were, like, value that had valuable cards. The closest was probably Chuck Knobloch, and even his, even his cards weren't even worth that much. He's just the second baseman who hit, you know, he hit for average, and he scored 100 runs a year. That's, you know, big deal. There's um, three dozen guys in baseball like, that are capable of that, but... The guys that were like in demand when I was a kid, that, that were the really good cards, were Ken Griffey Jr. and Frank Thomas. Those were the guys. But since I was such too, I was too cool for school as a kid. I had to have somebody different. I went. Uh, I was a baseball card hipster, so to speak. <laughs> That's as bad as it sounds. I'm, 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 I'm both joking and I'm being serious. But um, oh, I'm gonna miss it again. Fuck. Ugh. Um. The, uh, I wanted uh, somebody popular, but who wasn't too popular, so I picked Jeff Bagwell. He was my guy. Where all my friends liked uh, Frank Thomas and Griffey and um, who was another guy? I remember uh, Eric Karros was another guy that people liked for the Dodgers, the first baseman. He was Rookie of the Year. A lot of people liked him. Uh, a lot of people really liked Mike Piazza when he came along. But Jeff Bagwell was my guy because he was kind of underappreciated. He played in a, on a on a team that didn't get a lot of recognition, but he he was a great fielder. He was a great base runner. He hit home runs. He hit 300. So there you go. Why am I rambling about baseball while I'm playing <laughs> Super Ghouls and Ghosts? I did not plan that. Okay. Anyway, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. I bought this game. Let's talk about Super Ghouls and Ghosts. I bought this game, uh, let's see if I can fucking hit this thing. See, this is where it helps to have... Shit, I'm not gonna be able to kill that thing, am I? Damn it! That was just bad luck. I don't care what you say, and I'm gonna use my invincibility to phase through that spiky wall. I need the green suit to get through this. I really do. I bought this game complete in the box, uh, years ago. Oh, probably ten years ago by now. And I almost got I wanted to keep the game, but I almost got rid of the box and book. I got rid of a bunch of box and boxes and books uh, before I moved uh, to my... Uh, well, I move every, like, two years. <laughs> so before one of my moves. Um, coming close to the boss here. It's almost boss time. Um... Yeah, I got rid of... I remember I had the Super Game Boy box. I sold that. I had a Sim City box. I sold that. Um, not Sim City. Uh, Sim Earth. Sold that. Um, I had uh, Lemmings box and book. I sold those. <coughs> and uh, I came real close to selling the box and books, book in, on this until my girlfriend came over one day um, and she saw that I had this game for the first time and she was like, holy crap, I didn't know you had this game. And so we we ended up playing it, no joke, for like n eight straight hours. I think from like 10 in the morning to like six at night or something like that. We played all fucking day. And uh, yeah, this boss is really tough and you have to keep your distance and he's going to launch seashell missiles at me. Duck. Here. What? I ducked. Eat shit. Come on, man. I gotta go all the way back. Oh, my God. Uh, see this game? <laughs> uh, that's what's frustrating here. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's trial and error. Yeah, it's... You know, you play by its rules and all the qualifiers and all the blah, blah, blah and rationalization and all that. But when you die at the boss, you go all the way to the fucking beginning, just like fucking Gradius. Okay, we want to avoid that weapon. Where the fuck is my bow and arrow? Shit, man. But yeah, anyway, we played this game. Alright, I'm going to get the green suit this time. Or the frog suit, as I call it. Jesus Christ. Alright, finally. Maybe I'll have a chance. A better chance, anyway. 
All right, so yeah, no, and and she introduced my, my when my girlfriend played this, we played it all fucking day, nonstop until we beat it. Well, she, be I guess we kind of beat it together, but um, it was ridiculously hard. But like, it literally took us eight hours to beat it because she had she said she hadn't played it since she was a kid, and I'm like, you like this game, like you're this, I'm like this won't last long, and she's so freaking stubborn, and. She's the type of person, she's the type of personality that's like, um, how does that, there's, there's like a motivational meme or whatever, it's, uh, it says brute force, if, if it doesn't work that means you're just not using enough of it, and it's got a picture of a Gatling gun, like, that's her personality, like, if you, if, if, if this doesn't work, like, like she, what's another way to put it, like, she uses a sledgehammer to pound a freaking, you know, sheet metal nail or something like that. She's just, she does not give up easily, and she just is freaking relentless. It's a damn. <clears throat> and uh, sometimes I have to tell her like, "Hey, work work smarter, not harder." <laughs> so, yeah, she just like went like blunt force or brute force rather at this game and just kept playing and playing and playing and playing didn't care if she died I think that's the gold suit which I don't really need and I don't care about so whatever just kill these things almost at the boss um yeah so we just played forever and we got all the way to the boss the first time and I'm like if this is anything like the first game, this is going to make us beat the game again, and sure enough, yeah, she was pretty pissed off when we got to that part, but, I mean, yeah, and then the second time around when you have to use the princess bracelet to fucking beat the game, ugh, brutal, I don't like that weapon. Anyway, we got two minutes here, another thing in this game that doesn't really come into play until the end the very end your second go around is the time limit and the time limit definitely is a factor and it's almost not fair <laughs> how it works okay this fucking thing all right oh come on register some damage already <laughs> shit uh, come on I can't die and go all the way back I can't make you viewers all ten of you viewers suffer through that. Shit! Oh my god, that was close. Very quiet. Concentrating. Come on, just like three more hits. Oh my god. Don't die. Please do not die. Oh, that was too close. Come on, come on! Oh, God, thank you! Oh, that would have been brutal. Alright, well, you guys get to see the next level, so congratulations. Uh, yeah, like I said, I had this marked on my spreadsheet as fuck off, and it's because I've, been wor I've worked on Super Famicom videos, uh, for RPGs, for, plaf you know, the regular platformers and all those, you know, just the regular game series. And, uh, yeah, I remember this freaking level. No, where's my bow and arrow? God damn. Yeah, see, yeah, you, all you have to do is, like, dip down that ladder and the chest will appear. Sometimes you double jump, sometimes you gotta do stuff like that. So, uh-oh, I think he's going to, yeah... Gonna keep going. Yeah, this is another trial and error uh, level. Of course it is. This whole game is trial and error. But this is a frustrating one in particular because of these flame throwing things. And I'll show you here in a minute. Gotta wait for the fire to come down. Double jump. Wait for this to show up. Oop! Shit! Out of the way. See, this comes up, and I'm just gonna fucking ignore him. I got lucky there. I don't know, I must have triggered like a s sped up the process. Usually he takes his sweet ass time, but you can't go while he's down there. You can't progress. You have to wait for him to move out of the way like this. 
I think I showed this off in the video I did. I don't remember. That was a long time ago. But yeah, that's something you learn by dying <laughs> like three or four times. That's not something that you just intuitively know. That's something... Ugh! Yeah, see these jumps. Again, I don't know the right way... I can't remember the right way to go. There we go. And like that. Like that. Right, this one... Damn it! I was on a roll for a second, but... Yeah, see, it's just... It's a matter of pattern recognition and memorization and execution. It's not for everyone, but I like it. What was I saying? Something about something? I don't know. Oh, I was I was complaining about. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I worked all summer on, or I didn't work. I I played uh, Chrono Cross and um, Final Fantasy VII, and those videos got a whole bunch of attention, which is very cool. And I, I really thank you guys for watching and. There you go. See, that's where you die, or you get hit. Because he fucking stands there and does that. Uh, that guy's gonna kill me, isn't he? Shit. There we go. No, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch all this stuff that I make. It's awesome. Thank you. Um, but I need a break every once in a while, because, yeah, those are time-consuming videos. Especially stuff like uh, F F Chrono Cross and Final Fantasy VII. Those take... See, you gotta wait for the guy. Keep him on your screen and let him go to the left. And then he'll eventually go as far as he can to the left and do one last fire blast. And then he'll make his way over. And then you can go over and go down. And the only, Like I said, the only way you can find that out is by dying. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. No, what I do is, um, let's see if I can do this. There we go. Ah, oh, I went too far that time. Shit. Oh, damn. I jumped too quick. Okay. But yeah, no, what I do is I'll play for like an hour a day, maybe two hours a day of those games, you know, either early in the morning when I wake up at like five, I wake up at five. I don't know why, I'm turning into my dad. I've, I never used to be a morning person, but now I am, where the fuck is my bow and arrow, Jesus. Um, but I'll play for an hour in the morning and then an hour at night or whatever. Um, I'll jot down notes. I always have, ugh. You know what? I think I'm just gonna, yeah. <laughs> I need my green suit. Um. The, uh, yeah, no, and I'll, I'll just, uh, jot down notes. I always have a notepad file on my, on the desktop of my computer, or in my, uh, video file, video folder in my computer. There! Finally! My fucking, uh, bow and arrow. Finally! A lot of people will laugh at me because the bow and arrow kind of sucks, but when you have the green suit, it's much more efficient at getting rid of these motherfucking little gnat things. Is they're, they're a lot less likely to hit you and cause problems. Wow, that's too close. Let's get out of the way here. But, um, yeah, I'll sit and I'll play and I'll, I'll jot down notes. And um, eventually I'll, I'll write an introduction and I'm, I'll flesh out. Like, I do what I normally do. It just It's spread out over a period of weeks and months. Like, I don't play those games all at once. Like, I don't, I'm not the type to do that. I have a really short attention span. So that's why when, <laughs> like the Super Fam, the English friendly Super Famicom series, like those videos are just like scatterbrained, like a game here, a game there. I like flipping between like tons of different games. Um, that's right, I have to wait again. I like flipping between games like that. So, um, and I'm writing down like different things and making comparisons and all that sort of stuff. So. <sighs> All right, let's try this again. But yeah, those those videos though are different because those are like long-term projects. There we go, got it that time. All right, made it this far with the green suit. Let's go here and jump. Got it. Got it, all right. 
Yes, and that second one is a quick jump. I remember that. And that is a more of a double jump. That's a single jump. All right, I made it to the fucking demon guy. Let's see if I can kill this motherfucker. Got two hits on him, three hits. Oh, shit, he's beneath me. Oh, God, what's going on? Come on, I can't die this way. Oh, you know what? I just remembered. Shit, don't hit me. Screw it. You can... You don't have to beat him. You can just keep going. <laughs> Alright, I made it to... Oh, no way! He's following me! Fuck you! No way! I've never had him follow me this far. Ah! Ah! This is retarded. Come on! Oh, did I get him? Finally. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever had that happen before. Normally, I just skip past him, and he won't follow me. He'll just chill back there. Either that, or I'll kill him, or something, and he'll... I don't know. I've never had him follow me that far. Normally, he'll give up. Weird. Okay. Oh, by the way, this is like my most frustrating segment. This this part right here drives me insane. This is probably my least favorite part of the whole game. Let's see if my armor is in here. It is! Excellent. Yeah, this is my... this. I hate these towers. I was not even paying attention. I was looking away and I... I think I need another drink. Or maybe... You know what? Maybe I should stop drinking. I was literally just holding the right button and I, I was watching my dog do something. And I ran into the fucking thing. That was very stupid. Oh my god. I thought you could run underneath those guys as they fell down and then they fell behind you. Isn't that what you do? I thought that's what you did. That's why I kept running. Well, whatever. Fuck that. Oh, see? This is why I fucking hate this level. That's bullshit. I think the rest of this video is just going to be me whining. <laughs> oh, come on. I hate these angles these bats take. Ugh. Poor shit. Yeah, that money bag up there is a trap. Don't ever try and jump for it. Ugh. See, they come at you, and then they drop weapons sometimes, too. Like, right in front of you, and you accidentally pick up the shitty axe. Oh, come on! Ah! Alright. This is gonna turn into a fucking rage video, goddammit. I'm too drunk for this. Whoa, that was too close. That would have really pissed me off. <laughs> uh, I just hate that these things fly at these angles, and sometimes you can hit them, and sometimes you're supposed to jump, and it sucks. Thing is, is that the boss of this level is really easy. Like, really easy. <laughs> you just stand in one place and shoot over and over again, and then you jump. Like, when the projectile comes... Oh, come on! How did it hit one, but not the other? Shit-ass motherfuckers. Now, this is a family show. I don't want to... I don't want to drive away the kids. Oh, come on. That was just... That was just me being... It's starting to snowball. Frustration. Oh, man. I'm getting closer to that game over. That's not good. Now I'm trying to be... not See, it gets in my head, and then I try to be too careful. Look at this. This guy is following my exact... Tra almost exact trajectory, just a tiny bit off. Ugh. Look at this guy behind me. Fuck you. Fuck you! Oh, come on! Three of them? What?! I don't know if I'm gonna get past this fucking level. And it's all because I ran into that one statue without looking. 
I glanced away from the screen. This is another s guy, isn't it? Ugh. Oh, I'm getting tired. I don't know if I'm gonna get past it. Okay. All right. Oh, don't you dare. Okay, thank you for dying. Thank you for dying. All right, these guys again. This time I'm ready. See, that time I ran past him. Maybe I just stopped and hesitated. Oh my god. Okay, that's not the right approach. If you see one, you're supposed to stop and go the other way. I get it now. Okay. <sighs> oh, I'm on my last guy. That's not good. Well, I got reasonably far, I think. Maybe. I'm not even halfway through the game, actually. This isn't as far as I thought I would get. But then I'm not exactly in gaming condition. I've, I've, I've taken several performance dehancing drugs. Come on, man! What is this shit? It's like they know I have the bow and arrow, so they're like, okay. And I don't think there is a way. Yeah, should I get the knife? Well, I just gave myself the knife, so whatever. It's like they know I have the bow and arrow, and they're deliberately doing that. And, there's, I don't, and to my knowledge, I don't think there's any hidden chests on this part. I think that's why I hate it so much. Oh, and this is going to be even trickier because I... Oh, come on. Yep, laugh it up, people. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Oh, not the axe. Oh, come on! The weapon makes me die, because I don't want the we All right. Well, <laughs> there's my game over. That's how it ends, folks. Um, I think New Year's Eve is in a couple days, so uh, happy New Year, I guess. And thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support all year. It's been fun, uh, and I really hope you have a good rest of your day. Cheers!